Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Buzzards franchise here in year number six. Last episode was opening day here for the season as we look to get our title defense off on the right foot, and uh, we basically just, you know, fell flat-footed right on our faces as we got shut out by the Crocodons. Six nothing on opening day. Sancho Silvio threw a complete game shutout. Jude Hokey got lit up. And uh, our offense never really showed up. I think we only managed five hits total off of Silvio, all told. So, not a great start for our title defense season. That'll bring us into game number two here of the season. Our first road game against the B-Wolves. It's the only time we'll face them this year. On the mound for us will be last year's playoff MVP, uh, Southpaw third-year pitcher Emily Bonbon Bonventre. And on the mound for the B-Wolves, it'll be the sixth-year vet Jerry Caps in his first year with the B-Wolves organization. Lineup for today's game is the exact same one we used on opening day, hoping that it'll bring us a little bit better luck this time around. Leading off will be the shortstop, Baca, the village idiot, Boyd. Batting second, right fielder, Spool, worry less, worry more. Hmm. Batting third, Buck, big country, Swiner out there in left field. Batting fourth, the catcher, Bern Oliver. Batting fifth, second year shortstop, Class Diaz. Batting sixth, third year center fielder, Alfield, the Wink Winkelson. Batting seventh, third year third baseman, Merriam DDP, Daugherty. And batting 8th, 2nd year, 1st baseman Atticus Macias. And batting ninth is Bon Ventre. Let's get it on. Still looking for win number 1 here in the season. I, th I think we can get it done today. B-Wolves don't have a particularly strong offense on paper. so And their bullpen's pretty weak. So if we can get by Jerry Caps early, I think we're going to have a good day. Although we do need to be careful of the B-Wolves' speed. And their defense is, you know, pretty solid. You know, middle of the road, you know, nothing to write home but it's not particularly horrible. Alrighty, let's get it on. First, Boyd, Warrior, and Swiner will face Caps. Leading off, second year shortstop Baca, the village idiot Boyd. Shortstop hitting 250 on the area, one of our five hits in the first game of the season. Both traits active here against Jerry Caps, the right hander, uh, contact first right hander, and inside pitch. Caps entering his sixth season here in the league. All of them have been in the mega conference. Slider away low ball one. His first two were with the Crocodons. His next three were with the Overdogs. And his fourth one was here with, and his sixth one is here with the Beowulfs. Change of inside a strike. One and one the count. Chased it inside. One and two. Fastball away. Bloop out to left center field. That is a dump base hit as it's over the diving shortstop. Boyd on to lead off the game. <coughs> right next up, right fielder Spool. Worry less, worry more. He had three of our five hits in the first game, and he was stranded on base all three times. Strike letters on one. Well, he was stranded on base twice. The other time, he was erased on a double play. Fastball up and in. Worrymore crushes it to right center field, but that's going to hang up there for the center fielder. Fruitwell makes the catch. That is one down. One of Caps' old teammates from the Crocodiles, Gordon Fruitwell, out there patrolling center field today. Batting third for us, left fielder Buck, big country. Swiner, who was hitless on opening day, he went over for four. Change up inside, misses to him, ball one. That's down. down and then it's low, 2-0 oh the count. Fastball at the knees, line to left center field, and Big Country's going to find the gap. That's going to go all the way to the deepest part of the park, and that could score a run as Boyd's already on his way to third. He's going to come around third as Swiner holds up at second with the double. He does score as the relay throw is late, one nothing buzzards. That sets up catcher Byrne Oliver, who has RBI man. Third-year catcher looking to bring home his first hit and first RBI of the season. He was 0 for 3 in the opening day game, as Caps has already tensed three batters into the game. Cutter outside, misses, ball one. That one's outside, grounded in the hole to second. Dexteras will go to first, two down as Swiner advances to third. Caps back to neutral mojo, and that'll bring up second-year second baseman, Class Diaz. Team leader in home runs last year. He's also tied for the team leading in RBIs with Worry Moore. Cut her down in the way is a called strike. 0 and 1. That one's outside. 1 and 1 the count. Check swing in the dirt. Another fastball low. 2 and 1 to Diaz. Slider at the knees. Rip past the diving third baseman in the left field. The RBI single there for Diaz. His first hit in RBI of the season. It is 2 to nothing. And that'll bring up outfield, the Wink Winkelson. The center fielder had the other of our five hits in the first game. He went one for three. Third-year center fielder will take a fastball up and in for a high ball. 1-0. Caps once again tense. Changeup is low at the knee, below the knees. 2-0. 
slider away. Winkelson finds the gap right center field, and that's going to be extra bases. That's rolling to the tomorrow. Fort Will misplays it as well as that's going to get by him, and that's going to let Winkelson get a triple. He'll drive in another run. It is three nothing buzzards. Now this is what I like to see. I wish we had this on opening day. Next up, third baseman, Merriam DDP Daugherty, one of the team leaders in the season. It was on opening day. She went 0 for 3. She was uh, the team leader in average last season with Winkleson, who's over there at third base. Fastball in the dirt. Behind the catcher, and here coming home is the wink. He will score 4 nothing on the wild pitch. Strike up and in. Call 1-1. One one. Good fastball from Caps. Middle and fastball line up the middle. Nice diving stop by Dexterous behind the bag. He'll get it to first in plenty of time, and that will end. But the buzzers jump out for four runs on four hits as we take the lead. Bottom one, Dexterous, Trunk, and Kingman. Top lineup up here for the B-Wolves against Bon Ventre making her season debut. Leading off the OG shortstop for the B-Wolves, playing second base today, Hanley Dexterous, hitting 333 on the season. On the mound for us, third-year southpaw Emily Bonbon Bonventre, who came off one of the greatest playoff performances I've ever seen out of a pitcher. She threw two complete game shutouts, um, both of them three hitters en route to a world uh, to our league championship title. Strike outside as uh, he chases it, 0-1. Bonventre was also the playoff MVP for before that performance. Asked that, and there's a strike called 0 2. That performance was enough to promote her to the second pitcher in our rotation as we cut PJ Andrews in the offseason. Tough out active here for Dexteras. Or both side, 1 and 2. You see her middle in. Grounded foul. It's still a 1 and 2 count. You see her up and away. Ground up the first baseline. Another foul ball. We'll do it again. Slider down in the second. Diaz on the backhand. He'll make the stop. One down. Next up, first baseman Joseph Trunk, former Buzzers player in his first year with the B-Wolves. Locked in, hitting 667 with an RBI, so he went two for three in the B-Wolves opening day game. After him, batting third will be right fielder Kobe Kingman. Batting fourth at third base will be Lover Cooper. Batting fifth, OG catcher Steve Monstor. He is tense. Batting sixth, center fielder Gordon Fruitwell, his second year with the B-Wolves. Batting 7th, new addition shortstop Rodney Park. Batting 8th, new addition left fielder Linda Hand, who comes over from the Plato Pie. And pitcher Jerry Caps will be batting ninth on the bench for the B-Wolves. They have Dion Bass, the former Heaters prospect, who's tense. Uh, OG second baseman Freddie Knox. Backup second baseman Wally Bacon. They have three second basemen on the roster. To, like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of second basemen, guys. <laughs> Backup catcher Harry Backman, OG Blowfish member, and left fielder Bubbles Garcia, another former Heaters prospect. Okay. First pitch to Trunk, fastball outside, ball one. Our ball down and in is low, 2-0. Oh. Another up and in is inside, 3-0 -oh the count from Bon Bon. Fastball down at the knees, a strike called 3-1. Well, Ventre maxed out her velocity before the start. She got a nice player development upgrade at the end of last episode. You see her down and in. Line to left field. That is a base hit. Trunk will keep his hot hitting going. He's now 3 for 4 to start the year. Now to bring up right fielder Kobe Kingman, who was hitless in the first game. First pitch curveball up and away. Fouled off. 0 1. Or Seamer down and in. Chased it low. 0 and 2 the count. Cutter up and in. High. One and two to Kingman. Slider down in the way. Grounded up the middle. Base hit as that's the seeing eye single into center field. Kingman on with his first hit of the year. First and second now with one down. Now to bring up third baseman Lover Cooper, who has outside pitch active. He has no hits on the year, but he does have an RBI from the first game. Switch two seamer up and away. Outside. Ball one. Forcing her down in the way. Ground and then a hold a second. Diaz dies past him into right field. That's another base hit. Coming around third. Runner's going to try and score. Here comes the throw home. Just laid and dropped anyway. RBI single for Cooper. It is 4-1. B-Wolves on the board. Runners at the corners. One down for Monstor. Catcher is tense. Hitless on the air. They're going to turn his luck around. Curveball up and away. Strike called. 0-1. Cutter down and in is low. 1-1 one one the count. 
Seymour at the knees. Line at the middle. Base hit for Monstor. That's his first hit of the year. And that will drive in another run. It is 4-2. Both starters struggling here early on. Next up, center fielder Gordon Fruitwell hitting 250. First pitch cutter up and away as Bumbentry's tense. He swings through it. 0-1. Zimmer inside, popped up foul. Oliver going over near the dugout. Makes the catch, keeps it in play. Two down. Got to bring up shortstop Rodney Park getting his first start of the year. Coming off the bench because Dexteris is now playing second base today. First pitch to him, a curveball inside. Misses, ball one. Fastball up. Driven by Park down the left field line. Hit pretty well, going to the high wall. It is off the wall. That'll be extra bases for Park. One run is in, second runner coming around, and Swiner comes it home in time to nail Monstor at the plate as we save the lead. A snipe from Buck Swiner as he throws it from against the fence to make the cat out at home. But the Beebles get three runs. It's now 4-3 to the second. Macias, Bonventre, and Boyd do up as this could be a long day for the pitching staffs. The first baseman, number four. Leading off the inning, uh, second year, second first baseman, Jesus, I can't read, Atticus Macias, hitless on opening day. He was 0 for 3. Caps still tense after the first inning as that cutter up and in is a strike called 0-1. Fastball down the middle. Macias turns on it, rips it into right center field. That one hop to the wall as it splits the fielders. Fruit well there. He'll get it in quickly, but that'll be a leadoff double for Macias as he is in scoring position. That'll bring up Bon Ventre, who's our best hitting pitcher on the team. Tense currently trying to turn her mojo around. Fastball inside is ripped up the line, but foul. 0-1. Blow the knees, chop back to the mound. And the runner will hold it second. <laughs> one down, and that'll bring up Boyd. One for one today with a single. He's also scored a run today. Strike away on the heater, 0-1. Good pitch from Caps. Fastball down, and then his sky to center field. Right to Fruitwell. He barely has to move. Two down in the inning as Macias is stuck at second. Now to bring up Worry Moore. He's 0 for 1 today. Curb slider in the dirt, off the catcher's glove, runner going for third. He is dead at the dead at the recover from the pass ball. Bottom two, we're still down, we're still up four to three. We get a hit, but the runner does not score. Hand caps and dexterous do up against Bond Entry here in the bottom half of the second. And the hand leading off the inning. Left fielder went one for three on opening day for the B Wolves in her first season with them. Coming over from the division rivals, the Platypie. First bit slider middle in is fouled off. 0-1. Cut her away. About off. 0 2. Whiffer activates here for hand. Newly acquired trade is that two seamer up and in is way high. 1 and 2. Four seamer down in the way. Chased it outside. Grounder to third. Daugherty charges. Makes the play. One out. That is going to bring up the pitcher, Jerry Caps, getting his first bat of the game. He's still tense despite putting up a zero last inning. Four seamer middle in. Strike called. 0 and 1. You see him up and away. Outside, one and one. Better away. Checks me outside, two and one. We're up and in. Off, two, two, the count, the caps. Put about down here. You see him up and away. Caps fouls it off. He'll stay alive. Cutter down and in. Low ball four, and Bond Venture commits the Cardinal sin, walking the pitcher. One down, runner at first for Dexteras. He's 0 for 1 today. Rounded out his first time up. First pitch two seamer away. Strike called. 0 1. Slider middle away. Foul off. 0 2. Tough out activates for Dexteras again. First seamer up and in. Check swing high. Good take. 1 and 2. Slider down in the way. Grounded up the middle. Base hit for Dexteras. That's his first hit of the game. He's 1 for 2. First and second now with one down. Oh, thank you, Flash Growth. Thank you, Flash Growth, for the follow. We're up to number 46. Love to see it. Next up, Joseph Trunks. Singled his first time up. He's also scored a run. He is one for one today. First pitch, four seamer down in the way. Fouled off. 0 and 1. Throw ball down and in is inside. 1 and 1 to Trunk. Cutter up and in. 
fouled off. Trunk puts it in the seats. One and two the count. Two team up and away. Outside, two and two. Slider down and in. Grounded the short. Boyd charges, flips the second one in time. Got the Xterras, but Trunk beats it out on the back end. Builder's choice, first and third now with two down for Kingman, who singled his first time up. He's also scored a run. He is now locked in. First pitch cutter down in the way. Strike at the knees, 0-1. Third ball up and in. Line to third. Darty leaps off her glove in the left field, and that's going to be a game-tying single for Kingman. It is 4-4 four four as the inning stays alive. Here's Cooper. He's singled in a run his first time up. He's also scored a run himself. Third ball down in the way. Line at the middle. Base hit for Cooper, and that's into center field. Winkleson comes up throwing, but run will score. It is 5-4 as the Beavles take the lead. Next up, Mon Store, catcher one for one with a single and an RBI, and he was thrown out trying to score in the first inning. Speed slider down in the way. Chopped to the mound. Bonventry fields it, fires the first in time that will end the inning, but she gives up the lead with two runs scoring as the Beavles are already at eight hits and a walk. To the third, we're down five to four. Heart of the lineup coming up though, Warren Moore, Swiner, Oliver, and Diaz. Raymore leading off. He is 0 for 1 today. His at bat will restart after the runner was thrown out at third base to end last inning. Change up low, ball one. Caps back to Nutramojos. That slider's outside. 2 0 the count. Fastball high. 3 0 the count to Worry More as composed activates. First time today for Caps. Cutter below the knees. It didn't matter. That is a four pitch walk. First walk of the game for Jerry. Lead off runner on. Here's Swiner. He doubled in a run his first time up. He's 1 for 1. Right, got the letters, 0-1. Fastball outside, 1-1. One one. Caps once again tensed. Uh, fastball outside, 2-1 the count. Pick off the first. They knew Warrymore was going. Trunk gets him out at second, one down. Uh, that's why I don't try to steal. Cutter up and in, a strike called, 2-2. Two and two. Swung through at strike three. Swiner down, swinging, two down in the inning. Base is empty for Oliver. He's 0 for 1 with the ground out to second. Pass for down and in. Hard chopper to short. Rodney Park, and that is an easy third out for the B Wolves. As they give up a leadoff walk, but runner is picked off trying to steal. Strikeout and a ground out. Bottom three. Fruitwell, Park, and Hand do up. Here's Fruitwell. He's 0 for 1 today. Receiver down and in is low. Ball one. First, Macias there. He'll take it to the bag. One down. Next up, Park. Double in the run. His first time up. He's one for one. First pitch curveball in the dirt. Low in the dirt. One and oh as it bounces. We're seeing up and away. Strike called. One and one. Slider up and in. Inside. Two and one. Better down and in is also inside. Three and one. You see him in the middle of the plate, line at the middle. Boyd dives out of his reach, that is a base hit for Park. He's two for two. That's a shortstop on with one down in the inning. Now that'll bring up Hand today. Grounded out her first time up to the pitcher. Or no, grounded up to third base, that's right. I'm thinking of the wrong batter. First pitch four, Seamer middle in. Swung through it, 0-1. Third ball up. Fly ball to right field, one more back a few steps. In front of the warning track, he puts it away for the second out. Now to bring up the pitcher slot caps, he locked his first time to plate and he's also scored a run. Forcing her in there at the knees, 0 and 1. Better up and in, strike called, 0 and 2. We see him up and away, fouled off, we're still at 0 and 2. Receiver below the knees. Chased it, strike three. First punch out for Bon Bon, and that ends the inning. To the fourth, we're still up five. We're still down five to four. Diaz, Winkleson, and Daugherty do up. With Diaz, he's one for one. RBI single earlier in the game. Fastball low, ball one. Fastball inside, two and oh. Fastball outside, strike called, two and one. Pass ball to Nice. Diaz lines it into right center field on the power swing, and that's going to split the fielders and get all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Diaz to lead off the inning. Going for third. Dexteris with the cut throw. It is late. Lead off triple for Diaz. 
Runner at third, none down for Winkleson, who tripled in a run last time up. He was one for one. Slider down and in low, ball one. Fastball up, line to right field, a base wink, and that'll drive in Diaz. We're tied at five. Brand new ball game, folks, here in the fourth. Next up, DDP. Daugherty's 0 for 1 today. Looking for her first hit of the season. Fastball down and in low. Ball 1. Pitch out. Nothing doing. 2 of the count. Slider at the knees. Daugherty lines at the left center field. That is down for a hit, and that is her first hit of the season. First and second now with none down. Buzzard's looking to build on the rally. Here's Macias. Doubled his first time up and then was thrown out trying to Moved to third on a pass ball. Strike at the knees on the heater. 0-1-1. That one's low. 1-1. One one. Slider middle in. Macias will poke that to right center field. It is down in front of Kingman, but Daugherty's going to get caught as she had to freeze to see if it would be caught. Runner is out at second, but it's runners at the corners with one down. Bon Ventry up next, though, for one with a fly out. Or ground out. She ground it back for the pitcher. Pass bump and in. Lined up the middle, and Bonventry is going to get an RBI single out of this. No one was up there. <laughs> they were playing the bunt. 6 5. Buzzard to take the lead. Next up, Boyd. One for two day for the village idiot. Singled in his first at bat, and he also scored a run. Pass bump and in. Blooper into center field. That is down for a base hit. Coming around third and trying to score is Winkleson. He will get in there, or Macias, he'll get in there safely. Uh, Bon Ventry moves up to third. RBI single for Boyd. It is seven to five. And then to bring up Warrior Moore, 0 for one. Walked last time up and was thrown out trying to steal second base. Pass ball away. Grounder to second. Dexter is there. Flips the second one. Park the first. Double play, and that ends the inning. With the buzzer to take a two-run lead as we get three runs, and we're back on top, seven five to the bottom of the fourth. Dexter is trunk and Kingman do up. Dexter is he's one for two today with the single. Is Bond entry back to neutral mojo after the RBI single last inning. Curveball up and away is high. Ball one. Four seamer down and in. That's a strike. One and one. Slider at the knees. Chased it. One and two. Cutter inside. Foul off. One and two as Dexter stays alive. Four seamer down and away. Line at the middle. Diaz dives to his right, makes the stop, gets up and fires in time. Nice play. One down. Next up, Joseph Trunk. He's one for two today with the single. First with the four seamer away. Strike called, 0 and 1. Trunk grounded into a fielder's choice last time up. In. Check swing high, 1 and 1. Two seamer down and in. Foul off, 1 and 2. Four seamer up and away. Foul off. Trunk stays alive. For ball below the knees. In the dirt, 2 and 2. Good take. Slider up and in. Check swing inside. Full count now. Cutter down and in. Foul off. We'll do it again. Count remains full. Four seamer away. Outside ball four. Second walk of the game for Bon Bon as Trunk will reach. That'll bring up Kingman. He's two for two. He's single in a run last time up. First pitch two seamer away is outside. Ball one. We got first, nothing doing. Curve ball down, in the dirt. Good block by Oliver, 2-0. Oh. Four-seamer middle in, check swing strike, 2-1 and one as it's blown by Kingman. Better up and away, runner goes, strike called, throw down by Oliver. In time, and Trunk is dead to rights at second. He's down to neutral mojo. Trunk's first stolen base attempt of the year is a failure. 2-2 two, two the count here to Kingman. You see him down in the way. Foul off. We'll do it again. Four seamer up and in. Liner down the right field line. That is foul. Still two and two. Rider up. Chased it high. Strike three. Second punch out of the game for Bond Ventry, and she gets out of the inning to the fifth. 7 5 remains the score. Hard of the lineup up again. Swiner, Oliver, and Diaz as we look to build on this lead. Leading off Swiner, one for two. RBI double in his first at bat, and he struck out swinging last time up. Fastball inside, ball one. That one's low, two and oh. 
Pass ball but in. Swiner lines at the center field, but it's right at Fruitwell. One down. Next up, Oliver. 0 for 2 day for Byrne. Flew out last time up. Pass ball inside. Strike call. That one one. Cut her away. Chopped to second. Charging Dexterra. He'll make the play to first. Two down. Now bring up Diaz. Two for two today. He tripled last time up to lead off the inning. He singled in a run in his first at bat. And he has scored two runs today total. Cut her up. Driven to center field by Diaz. He got under it though. Fruitwell to the warning track. Will make the catch. And that's a 1-2-3 inning. Bottom five. We're still up two. Cooper, Monstor, and Fruitwell do up. There's Cooper. Two for two today. He's singled twice. Driving in two runs. Outside pitch active here for Cooper. Cutter inside, misses, ball one. Slide it down in the way. Line to right field, base hit for Cooper. He is three for three. Next up, Monstor, one for two with an RBI single today. Apparently tense. Boy Seamer down in the way, strike call, 0 and 1. Dribble down and in, foul off, 0 and 2. Ladder up and away. Chased it outside, strike three. Third punch up for Bon Bon. One down. Next up, Fruitwell. He's 0 for 2 today. First pitch two seamer inside to Gordon. Chased it, 0 and 1. Four seamer away. Outside, 1 and 1. Ladder inside, nowhere near the zone. 2 and 1 as it backs him off. Four seamer down in the way. Grounder in the hold of short. Base hit for Fruitwell. His second hit today. He's 2 for 3. First and second now with one down here in the fifth. Brings up Rodney Park. He doubled in around his first at bat and singled last time up. He is two for two. This pitch cutter up and away. Check, check swing strike called. 0 and 1. Four seamer down and in. Low 1 and 1. Slider down and away. Outside 2 and 1. Seamer up and in. Fools him. Swung through it 2 and 2. The ball away. Line to left center field. That's going to find the gap, and that's going to get another two runs in as Park is going to get extra bases. That is a two-run double. It is 7-6 B-Wolves. Or Sorry, we're tied at 7. I can't count. And that'll do it for Bon Ventry here. His hand due up next. He's 0-2 today. She goes four and a third innings, giving up 12 hits, seven earned runs, two walks, and two strikeout, three strikeouts today. She'll leave the game tense. Just couldn't get through that fifth inning like I wanted her to, but... It is what it is. Can't really do anything about it. Coming off the bench, uh, coming out of the bullpen here. Going to be second year right hander Hesto Despot making his season debut. First pitch fastball down and in is a strike call. 0 and 1. He's going to wrap it in high. 1 and 1. Despot had a solid rookie campaign, kept his ERA under three. Curveball outside, two and one. He had, I believe, one save on the year. Uh, no record, uh, zero, zero. Two seamer up high, swung through a two and two. Four seamer down in the way, chased it, strike three. First punch out for Despot on the year. Next up, Caps, 0 for one today with a walk. No pinch hitter, it's his at bat. Switch curveball down in the way, strike call, zero and one. Four seamer up and in, swung through it, zero and two. Seamer up and away. Outside, one and two. Change up low. Check swing, two and two. Seamer down and in. Chased it inside, strike three. Back to back case for Despot. Ends the inning in style. So the sixth, we're tied at seven now after we blow the lead. Winkleson, Daugherty, and Macias do up with the pitcher slot up fourth. Here's the outfield, the Wink Winkleson. He is two for two today. He's tripled in a run and singled in a run. Two RBIs on the cards for Wink. Slider low, who ball one. Outside heater misses, 2 0 the count. Fast ball up and in. Winkleson pops it left center field that will hang up. They can catch hand, one out. Next up, Daugherty, one for two today with a single. Cutter outside, 1 0. Low in the dirt on the changeup, 2 0. Fastball middle in is fouled back, 2 and 1. Fastball up and in, chased it, two and two. Fastball outside, chased it, strike three. Second punch out of the game for Caps. 
two down in the inning, and that'll bring up Macias, who's one for two with a double. He is tense currently. Pass for down and then low. Ball one. Slider outside. 2-0 the count. Pass ball for in. Hitting the hole to short. Nice diving knocked down by Park, but he can't make the play. Infield single for Macias as he beats the throw. He's back to neutral mojo, and that extends the inning for Despot, who will hit here because I need him to eat at least one to two more innings. Pass ball up. Line through the middle. Despot gets his first hit of the year. Will he make it to first? Yes, he will. boy. he's locked in. First and second, two down for the Village Idiot. Boyd, he is two for three today with two singles and an RBI. Big spot for the sophomore player. Can he get us back on top? Strike outside, good pitch there from Caps at 1-1. That is outside and high, 1-1. One one. Low on the cutter, 2-1. and one. Up and away, high, 3-1 the count to Boyd as Composed activates here. Pass up and away. Boyd lines at the left center field, but it's going to go right to Linda Hand, who's there in the gap waiting. That ends the sixth. Bottom half we go. Dexteras, Trunk, and Kingman do up. There's Dexteras. He's one for three today with a single, facing the now locked-in Despot, and it's the first time Dexteras has had the bat left-handed today. There's pitch two-seamer up and in. It misses inside. Ball one. Good pitch there from Despot. Change a bit the knees. Line to right field right at Warrior though. He'll make the catch. One out. Next up, Joseph Trunk. He walked last time at the plate. He's also, uh, he was thrown out trying to steal second base. He's also singled. He's one for two and grounded into a fielder's choice. Fastball down in the way. Strike called on the four-seamer. 0-1. Curveball down and in. Strike called. 0-2. Seamer up and away. Check swing high. Good take by Trunk. 1-2 and two the count. Change of open in. Fouled off as he's early on the swing. Still one and two. Goes him down in the way. Lined off foul as Trunk fights to stay alive. Her ball inside. Pop foul out of play. We'll do it again at one and two. Good at back so far for Trunk. Goes him up and in. Fouled off at Joseph. That's the fifth pitch he's fouled off here. Seamer up and away. Chased it. Strike three. Third punch out for Despot. Two down. That's going to bring up Kingman. Two for three. Two singles and an RBI. First pitch curveball away. Strike called. 0 and 1. Or Seamer down and in. Fouled off. 0 and 2. Change it down and away. In the dirt. 1 and 2. Seamer up and in. Chased it high. Strike three. Fourth punch out for Despot. And that's a 1 2 3 inning. To the seventh. We're still tied at seven. Hard lineup coming up. Worry Moore, Swiner, Oliver, and Diaz. Worry Moore leads off the inning. Over two today with the walk. Cap stays in there to start the seventh. Strike up and in. 0 1. Despite how bad of a day he's had, that shows you how little the B Wolves trust their bullpen as Caps is still eating innings. Strike the knees. 0 2 as Whiffer activates for Worry Moore. Pass about the knees. Popped up foul. That will get out of play as Monster watches it go over the backstop. 0-2 the count. Right at Trunk. One down. Next up, Buck Swiner. One for three today with an RBI double. Currently tense. And that will do it for Jerry Caps. He goes six in a third innings. Twelve hits given up. Six earned runs a walk. Two strikeouts. He will leave with a no decision as he go, gets pretty deep in the game, all told. Into the seventh. Coming out of the bullpen long reliever. Left-hander Kent Ratherswell. Six-year vet. Change up at the knees. 0-1-1. Curveball up, line to right center, but right there is Dexteres, two down. Got to bring up Burn Oliver, catcher is 0 for 3 today, still looking for his first hit. Blown out once as that change ups down and in, 0-1, and, and he's grounded out twice. Fastball up, strike call, 1-1. One one. Slider at the knees, driven to center field by Oliver, but I think he just missed it. Fruitwell there in front of the warning track calls for it, and that will be the third out. As that is a 1-2-3 inning combined for Caps and Ratherswell. Bottom half of the seventh will go. We're still tied at seventh. Cooper, Monstor, and Fruitwell do up. Cooper's three for three today. He's single three times, driving in two runs earlier in the game. Which is fastball up and in is inside. Ball one. Change it down and in. That is low. Two and oh. Two seamer down. Chase it below the knees. Two and one. Change of up and in. 
Line to left field. The Swiner is right there for it, though. One out. Next up, Monstor. Catcher 1-3 today with a single and an RBI. Powerful's right-hander active first time today as that curveball floats in there. 0-1. Four-seamer down and away is low. 1-1. One one. Change it down and in. Foul off. 1-2 the count. You see him up and away. Called strike three. Fifth punch out for a death spot. Two down in the inning, and that'll bring up Fruitwell. One for three with a single. Four seamer up and in. Fouled off. Breaking bad as well. 0 and 1. Curveball outside. Misses. 1 and 1. You see him middle of the plate. Grounded up the middle. Boy dives. Makes the stop. Gets up and fires. Just laid. Infield single for Fruitwell. Good effort, though. First hit given up by Despot out of the bullpen. Now to bring up Rodney Park. Three for three today. He has doubled twice, singled once, and driven in three runs. First pitch to him, change up away. Check swing strike at the knees. 0 1. Park now locked in. Four seamer up and in. Line to second, one hopper. Diaz backhands it, fires to first in time, and that ends the inning. Despot puts up another zero. To the eighth, we're still tied at seven. Diaz, Winkleson, and Daugherty do up. Here's Diaz leading off the inning, two for three. He's tripled, singled in a run, and he scored twice. Rather as well set and fires. Change up at the knees, 0 and 1. For ball away in the dirt, 1 and 1 the count. Fork ball up, caught the letters, 1 and 2. Slider down and in, line to third. Off the leaping Cooper's glove into left field. That is a base hit for Diaz. His third hit today, he's 3 for 4. Lead off man on here in the eighth for the Buzzards. That is going to bring up the outfield to Wink Winkleson. He's tripled in a run and singled in a run. He's two for three today. Pick off the first. Nothing doing as Diaz gets back safely. Change up in the dirt. Good block by the catcher. One and oh. Fastball inside in there. One and one. Curveball in there is fouled off. One and two the count. Change up outside is Chase, strike three, swinging. First punch out for Rather as well. One down, and that'll bring up Daugherty. DDP's one for three today with the single. Struck out swinging last time up. Fastball up and away high, ball one. Pick off to first, nothing doing as Diaz is back safely. Slider at the knees, line to center field. Base hit for Daugherty as that bloops in there. Her second hit, she's two for four. First and second now with one down. Next up is Macias. He sing, hit an infield single last time up. He's also doubled. He's two for three today. Fastball strike called at the letters. 0-1-1. Good pitch there from Ratherswell. Change it down and then it's fouled off. 0-2. Ratherswell in the driver's seat here. Slider down the ways. Chop the second. Dexteris fires the second one. Park the first. In time double play and that does end the inning as we fail to score. Bottom eight, we're still tied at seven. Hand, rather as well, and Dexter is due up. Death spot done here after two and two-thirds innings pitched. Five strikeouts recorded, one hit given up. Very good, solid outing for him out of the bullpen in his season debut. Hand due up first is over three today. Pinch hitting for her is catcher Harry Backman. Backman, I believe, is a switch hitter, is he not? He is. That is annoying. <laughs> uh, we're going to double switch here with Death spot. We are going to bring in... We're going to bring in all about that base, pewter base, as he'll come in out of the bullpen for the first time this year. We are going to sub off uh, Macias as we will bring in rookie third baseman Rafael Loins to lead off next inning. He will play third base as Daugherty will slide back to her natural position of first base. So the rookie Loins is making his season, his career debut actually here in the league, and he'll be Backed up here by Pewter Base, the pitcher, his third season here. Base had a really good year last year as well. He had two wins out of the bullpen. Went 2-0, and oh, has got one save as that cutter catches the two-seamer catches the inside corner. 0-1 to Backman, getting his first at-bat of the season. Base uh, had an ERA under three as well last year. Curve all the way. Base is for Backman to lead off the inning. Catcher gets his season started with a bang as that's a pinch hit double. He's now the go-ahead run at second base with none down here in the eighth. Rathers will do up next. I expect a pinch hitter. And it is Dion Base, the struggling second baseman, who was hitless on opening day. He's currently tense. First pitch two-seamer up. That is high. Ball one. 
Or seamer up and in. Check swing high. 2-0. Oh. Slider at the knees. Strike called. 2-1. and one. Two seamer at the knees. Popped up. Foul territory. Doherty over there behind the first base bag. Makes the catch. One out. Back to the top of the Beagles line. We go with Dexter as he's one for four today with a single. First pitch curveball down and in. Strike called at the knees. Good pitch. 0 and 1. Four seamer down and away. Ground to the short. Boyd there looks backman back on the backhand and fires the first. Two down. Now to put the pressure on Trung. He's one for three today. He's singled and walked. He's also been thrown out trying to steal second base today. First pitch slider away. Outside, ball one. Two-seamer up and in, is inside and high, 2-0. and Slider down and in, fouled off by Trunk, 2-1. and Four-seamer away, strike called, 2-2. Two and two. Came in, activates for base for the first time this year. Curveball down and away, chased in in the dirt, strike three, swing in. Oliver picks it up and fires the first in time, and base gets out of the jam as he, after giving up the leadoff double. Coming out of the bullpen to relieve. Deion Base is right-hander Meggie Meggles, former Sawteeth. To the ninth, we're still tied at seven. Leading off will be the rookie Raphael Loins, and it is the, uh, the village idiot and worry less, batting third. Leading off the inning rookie third baseman Raphael Loins getting his first career at bat. Switch hit, make an impression here. Meggles on the year made her appearance on opening day. It got the save in relief of the ace, Ace Von Asen. She threw two scoreless innings, giving up only a hit and striking out a batter. Her batting average against currently is 143 with a whip of 0 0.50 and an ERA of 0. Steve Backman as he takes over first base, moving Joseph Trunk out to left field. Loins ready, making his first career at bat. Let's see what he can do. Her slider is in the dirt, ball one. Fastball up and in high from Meggles, 2-0 to count the Loins. Fastball up, fouled back, 2-1, and one, a little early on the power swing. Fastball up and in, line to center field, and that is the first career hit for Rafael Loins. That is the leadoff pinch hit, well, a leadoff single as he was part of a double switch. He wasn't really a pinch hitter. Next up, the village idiot, Baca Boyd. He's 2-4 for four today with two singles and an RBI. Last time at the plate. Slider outside, misses, ball one. Pick off the first, nothing doing as the speedy Loins is back safely. Runner goes. Pitch out. They know he's going. Throw down his air mailed into center field. Loins is there at second. He's going for third. Throw from Fruitwell is late, and the rookie gets two bases on the chicanery by freaking Steve Monstor as he air mails an easy pitch out throw to second base. Winning go ahead run now at third for Boyd as the infield has to come in. 2 0 the count. Fastball up, lined over the shortstop into left center field. He had no chance to react. It's a single for the village idiot, and we now lead 8 to 7. Way to go, Boyd. Way to go. Next up, worry less. Spool worry more. He's 0 for 3 today with a walk. Slider inside. Misses for Meggles. Ball one. Fastball away. Line to second. One hopper to Dexteris. He's going to get a double play out of this as we had to freeze. Two down in the inning, and that'll bring up Buck Swiner, who's tense today. One for four with an RBI double. We will pinch hit for him. Or, you know what? Actually, I'm going to leave him in. We're going to sub off worry more. Um... Can't really do that right now, so we'll let Buck hit just because of that. Can anyone else play left field? Uh, pause, pause, pose, 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 pose. Boyd can play left field. You know what? We don't have another shortstop, do we? Shit. <laughs> uh, fudge. Uh, actually, we do. We can pinch hit. We will pinch hit for Swiner coming off the bench. Uh, fourth year, fifth year shortstop, Nathaniel Hurls. Pinch hit on opening day, and he uh, flew out. He's 0 for 1. Power is right-hander active, though, for Hurls. They align that to left field. That hangs up right at Trunk to make the catch. That ends the inning. Bottom nine we go. We're up 8 to 7. Kingman, Cooper, Monstor do up. His base looks to shut the door here in the ninth. Here's Kobe Kingman, a right fielder. is 2 for 4 today. He's singled twice, driving in a run. For de defensive subs, we are moving Hurls to shortstop. As take over duty in left field, and then we are also going to move, bring in Carter Mahoney to play right field for Warrior because he is tense. 
Other than that, I don't think we're going to be doing any other... And, uh, no, that's it. We'll save everything else for right now. Yeah, we're good there. All right. Base ready. Here we go. First pitch fastball down, and then is low to Kingman. Ball one. Curveball down in the way. It's low. 2-0. and You see him up and in. Inside and tight. 3-0. We're seeing we're up and away. Strike called. Three and one. Slider down and in. Inside on the check swing. Good take by Kingman. First walk by base as Kingman on is the tying run to start the inning. Next up, Lover Cooper. Three for four today. He's single three times, driving in two runs. First pitch slider down and in. Inside. Ball one. Two seamer up and in. Lined at the middle. Base hit for Cooper. His fourth hit today. He's four for five, and that puts the winning run at first base with none down. Two on for Monstor, one for four with a single and an RBI today. There's pitch curveball away. Foul off, 0 and 1. Four seamer down and in. Chase below the knees, 0 and 2 the count. Two seamer down at the knees. Chased it outside, strike three. First punch out for base. Or second punch out. Two down, one down in the inning, and that'll bring up Fruitwell. Two for four today with two singles for Gordon. First pitch slider in the dirt. Good block by Oliver. Ball one. Four seamer up and in. Swung through it. One and one. Two seamer down in the way. Low. Two and one. Double ball down and in. Chop to the mound. Base off. Bare hands to first. Two down. Basically a swinging bunt. Winning run second, tying run a third for Rodney Park. Three for four today, two doubles, a single, and three RBIs today. Base is really gassed right now, though. I don't know if he can get this last out. Coming out of the bullpen will be rookie left-handed specialist making his debut, Finley Holkhorn, as the young left-hander has a big task here. Specialist active, can he get the last out of the game and secure the save? Come on, Finley, this one's on you, Rook. Earn your keep. First pitch, four-seamer up and away. Nice sidearm action. I love it. Outside, though. 1-0. Change up down and in. Strike called. 1-1 one one as it caught the corner. Slider down and away. Low. 2-1. Curveball down and away. Grounder the first. Already dives. Makes the stop. Flips the cold corn in time. And that ends the game as the rookie gets the save. Getting the last down and we win 8-7. Not a bad way to win your first game of the year. Blow the lead early, rally back, blow it again, and then win it in the ninth. Love to see it. Good offensive day for both clubs. Each team hit, had 15 hits or more, and both of them scored almost 10 runs, so it was a pretty good outing. Uh, we get the edge in the defense, thanks to uh, that error by Monstor in the ninth inning. Everybody in our lineup got a hit today, except School Worry More, uh, Burn Oliver, uh, and the pitcher's base and Holcorn. Everyone else got at least one hit. Uh, RBI single for Bon Ventre. Uh, two RBIs for Twinkleson. One on a single, one on a triple. One RBI single for Class Diaz. One RBI double for Buck Swiner. And two RBIs for Baca Boyd on two separate singles. On the other side, everybody in the Beavles lineup got a hit today except Linda Hand, Jerry Caps, and Dion Base, the pinch hitter. Three RBIs today for Rodney Park. He goes three for five. One RBI for Monstor, two for Cooper, and one for Kingman. No, neither team hit a home run today, thankfully. Pitching lines, Bon Ventre, only four and a third innings for Bon Bon. Twelve hits, seven and runs, two walks, three strikeouts. She gets a no decision. Hesto Despot gave us two and two-thirds scoreless, giving up only a hit and striking out five. Pewter base inning in two-thirds. He gives up two hits, a walk, and strikes out two to get the win. He improves the one and O. Oh. And Finley Holcorn, the rookie, makes his debut, getting a last out ground out to first base to end the game. He gets his first career save. On the other side for the Beavles, no decision for Jerry Caps. He goes six and a third, 12 hits, six earned runs given up with a walk and two strikes. Kent Ratherswell gives a, goes an inning in two-thirds, giving up only two hits and striking out a batter. And Meggie Meggles takes the loss thanks to that error in the ninth inning. She gives up two hits, one earned run. She falls to 0-1 in the year as Rodney Park is the player of the game. He goes three for five, doubling twice, singling, and driving in three runs. Lover Cooper, four for five today. He singled all four times. He was got on base with two RBIs and two runs scored. And then Class D as place finisher. He goes three for four today. He had a triple, two singles, an RBI, and two runs scored. That's the way you win your first game. You love to see it. 
All right, we are back on the win, back in the win column today. We're up to one and one on the season. All right, let's take a look around the league and see what roster moves were made by the other clubs. Starting it off, what do we got? Where are we? Ooh, Hesto Despot after that nice pitching performance gains plus six accuracy. Love to see it. Moonstars pick up catcher Momo Tobos. They cut Nate Hankey. Bruno Adamo is off the Moonstars as he's replaced by Jose Carloco on the bench there. Rafael Loins, rookie, picks up plus four arm. Nice. Carter Mahoney picks up plus six power. Nice. Love to see it, Carter. Moonstars sign Bertha Banks as Ham Slamis is released. Ed Manning gets plus seven power. He's now a B minus. He might be startable there at third base. Vanderwink loses. Oh, he lost 15 velocity there in free agency. You hate to see it. John Ranero signs in Beebles as he's replacing Wally Bacon as they make a move to beef up their shortstop role and cut one of their three second basemen. Atticus Macias gets plus two fielding. Love to see it. And Ed Manning also gets plus seven contact, improving his hitting. All right. Okay, he's now a B minus. He improved both his power and his contact. Love to see it. Okay. We'll do player development options here in a second. Let us sim up to our next game here. Uh, looks like it'll be a playoff rematch against the Grapplers. Be the only time we play the Grapplers in the regular season. Grapplers in their second game blow the Nemesis out of the water, nine to nothing. Platypi hold off the heaters to win four to three. Moonstars shut out the Freebooters easily, three to nothing. Sandcats take it on the Sirloins here and the Sandcats blow them out of the water, nine to three. Blowfish taking on the saw teeth. Blowfish hold, hang on to win 4-2 in a pitcher's duel. And then they beat the Sirloins 8-3. Okay. Jack's taking on the Overdogs here. Overdogs hold on to win 5-2 as they take the division lead with that victory. And in the last game of the Sim, Hot Corners hold off the Moonstars to win 6-5 to also take their lead in the division. Okay, so we're setting it tied for second. We're in third place right now with a negative run differential but we're in the win column. Love to see it. Next game will be against the Grapplers. This is a playoff rematch from last season. It was the first round playoff matchup. Uh, Grapplers were the top seed in the conference. We were the bottom seed, and we managed to upset them, winning games one and three in that series. And game three, we won against the pitcher that is on the mound for the Grapplers, Lover Kim. And on the mound for us will be rookie right-hander Paxton Griffith. Flamethrowing right-hander. We'll see how he feels as we... Take the field with him for the first time next episode. Let's look at player development options. All right, don't like, don't like, don't like. This one is pretty good for Oliver. I like this one, and I like this one for Deputy as well. We can get both of them, so let's go ahead and snap them up. And I don't like this one for Mahoney. So we have four that we don't like and two that we're going to buy. So we'll do Oliver's first. He's going to get the one speed, which is fine. For fielding, he gets the one, unfortunately. Damn it. Only the one arm. Does not get contact for his right hander. Man, I was hoping for that one. Oh well. It's still a B overall. And then for Deputy here, we're going to up his velocity and junk here. Only the two V low, up to 54, and one junk to 55. Still a B, still a C plus, but he's getting closer to the B minus range. Had he gotten the plus seven, he probably would be a B minus, let's be real. Alright, let's set the lineup here for game three and call it a day. Alrighty, so we've got some tense players out there in the lineup today. Uh, I say we bring in Mahoney for Buck, let him play left field so that way he can get something going out there. You know, let's move Warrymore to left field. He's got better speed than Mahoney, so let's do that. Mahoney will play right, Warrymore will slide over to left field. Oliver is a little tired. Let's give Norris an at bat. Why not? We'll see what he can do. Alrighty, so that's what we'll go with next time out. Leading off will be center fielder outfielder Wink Winkelson, batting second, second baseman Class Diaz. Batting third, tense left fielder Spool Worrymore. Batting fourth, backup catcher Jay Norris getting his first start and appearance of the year. Batting fifth, the shortstop uh, Baca the Village Idiot Boyd, who was the hero in game one in this game this episode. Uh, Carter Mahoney will get his first start of the year out in right field. At first base will be uh, DDP, Daugherty over there. Batting eighth, getting his first start at third base. Ed Manning finally coming off the bench here as he's now the same overall level as Macias, who is tenth, so Manning will get the start. And batting ninth will be the pitcher rookie, Paxton Griffith. 
And that will do it for this episode, guys. That was a good back and forth contest with the contest with the Beewolves. Uh, we managed to eke it out at the end there, thanks to a crucial error by their catcher. We're now one and one on the year. We are squaring off against the Grapplers in a playoff rematch next episode. Hopefully, we can continue the trend of beating them and get back above 500 for the first time this season. Let's, and we also get to see how our rookie starter Paxton Griffith will do in his first career um, appearance. Made it this deep in the video, guys. Thank you so much. Love seeing everybody as always. Uh, love, thank you for sticking around and, you know, just listening to me ramble on about dumb shit. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the follow button down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already on YouTube, go ahead and hit, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you all in the next one. And you got a link to Twitch down below in the description. Until next time, everybody, this is The Nasty One, signing off.